Hello and welcome to an episode that is not our normal content. This one's going to be pretty quiet, as in I'm not going to talk really at all, I'm just going to work. So I got this 50s 7-Up cooler, it's all metal, bought it at a local estate auction, and I didn't get it for a real steal because other people who were bidding that knew the value. What we're going to do is just scuff down the layers that are here, because obviously it's been a couple different colors over the years. Probably get rid of a lot of the surface rust in doing so, and then we're going to treat it with Penetrol, which is just a paint additive, but when used by itself, it adds a really glossy finish that one, levels itself out, and two, will last like at least six months out in the weather. For any stainless stuff, or rather this might even be aluminum, it's just going to get rubbed down with Quad Zero steel wool. The rest of it is going to be wiped down with one of the three grits of scotch Bright, depending on what responds the best. We're going to do a little test probably on the underside just to see once I'm happy with it, wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol water mixture, and then from there brush on Penetrol. And the way you brush it on, we use cheap foam brushes here, but you can use rags, paper towels, whatever, as long as they're clean. And you apply it once and do not touch it again. But once it starts to cure and you brush it again, that brush stroke is going to be there forever. And cure time is anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. So do this somewhere where you don't have to touch it again for a while. But yeah, we'll get right at it, put the music on and get to work.
Well, it's done. I'm pretty happy with it. There was a couple issues that I just couldn't fix, specifically like the lid is dented, being that spot welded together with the interior piece. I'd have to drill all those out and then pop the dent out from the inside. It was gonna be a ton more work and I messed with patina a lot more in doing so. Speaking of the patina, th this side, which is the face of the cooler, was in pretty rough shape. Like the whole upper part of it was bare metal or just rust. So I had to add paint back in just to have something because it was all like this or worse. And it honestly looked pretty bad. I did find the original manufacturer's name in Boston, the front, which is cool, which is Progress Refrigerators out of Kentucky, which is pretty cool. But again, we had to do something with the all the missing paint. So I just added some more in. I did it all throughout. So at least it would kind of go together. Like there's some up here. The thing's already been painted once before. You can see the brush strokes of where they painted it. So I'm guessing when it was painted last, there was already not much original paint left to begin with. But in any case, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't pay a whole lot for it. So it was a fun little experiment, but at least now it's all sealed. It looks pretty good. It's got some gloss to it and it won't continue to peel and flake like it did previously because all the loose stuff is now gone and everything that's left has been sealed together. What I'm gonna do with it, I don't know, because I already have one that I did for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the supplies I used in the description, but if I left anything out, just let me know. Or if you want clarification on any of the steps I did, again, just let me know and I can elaborate. But in any case, it'll go on the shelf, take up space, collect some dust, and just look neat until I figure out what to do with it. So yeah, with all that being said, thanks for watching and stay tuned.